Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, you can see it's a little bit different today. These are the clothes I'm going to be trying on today. I mean, they're, they're my clothes from my wardrobe, but it's all part of this 333 challenge that somebody asked me if I'd do, and I'd never heard of it. So I had a look and I think it started out as a TikTok challenge and uh, and then it's kind of been picked up by various people and i have found it very interesting it's been kind of good to really focus and think what might work with what and i haven't tried anything on um dolly's absolutely bewildered as usual um so i'm kind of going to do this in real time so to speak um so what i'm going to do and it's it's not exactly rocket science, is it? But I'm going to put on one, like I'll put on the skirt and then I'll see how many looks I can get with that skirt. And then I'll do the same with the black trousers and the denim jeans. And there's only so many things you can do at the end of the day, but it'll be interesting to see how you can switch it up. And I'll, I'll depending, I might change my kind of hair and um, jewellery as well. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it actually, because if it works, this will form a big part of my wardrobe when I go on holiday for a week with mum because we are a bit short of space in the car because there's four of us travelling. Um, and obviously, you know, we've all got a suitcase. So anyway, let's see how I get on. It's a quite interesting little experiment, isn't it? And I guess it's just really a capsule wardrobe at the end of the day. And I've never quite succeeded in that. So yeah, let's have some fun. So these are the pieces that I have picked out. Um, so we've got some black coated jeans, my kind of winter white pleated skirt, a pair of blue denim jeans, a cream cashmere jumper, a lovely pink silk shirt and a plain white t-shirt. Um, I don't know, I don't know how strict the rules are. I mean, whose rules are they? three pairs of shoes and I've added in three handbags but you know you could take that down to one I've got a scarf there and a couple of belts I haven't tried anything on so um we're going to have to see how it works because well to be brutally honest I couldn't bear to do this all over again and it has really focused my mind and um I have found it quite an interesting experiment so um yeah so this first look is kind of I, I guess it's like shades of, of white really so I've got the skirt on t-shirt this kind of very pale taupe um belt and my um what brand was this Teddy Blake bag that I got last year and, uh, hang on, I need to move the camera before I break my neck. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, what am I doing? So that's number one. I like it actually. And I would never ever put this together if it wasn't for this challenge. So I guess a tan belt would be even better, but I don't have one to hand. So, um, yeah, but, you know, I'm a size 18, but I, I think this looks really nice actually. Um, because I am what I am, you know, it, it's just looking good for who you are and what you are, I think is what's important. So that's uh, the first look. So I've just switched it up with the black boots and Dolly, who goes very nicely with the um, <laughs> belt. Um, a black crossbody bag, which is invaluable really. A black and gold scarf. And yeah, I mean, a black belt would probably, again, you know, these things take up no room, do they? A couple of belts in your luggage is not going to really make any difference so and it, 
equally a scarf it's not going to add to anything so um yeah that's number two it's fun isn't it and i've kept the black boots on i've kept the black bag on and i've added this little cashmere uh sweater but equally it could be a merino wool one from arts and spencers so i think the monochrome looks great actually and I would never have done this if it wasn't for this challenge. So, yeah, that's a good one. That's number three. I mean, I know there are only variations on a theme, but obviously what can you do with only three of everything? So, uh, yeah. Now this time I've kept the black boots on, but um, I've put on this silk blouse, which is um, obviously a silk satin. And I've put this little um, coach bag. This is one of the best purchases I've ever made, actually, because the purse just comes out like that. And so it's very safe and it's very lightweight. I did try the black with it, but it, it didn't look right, even with the black boots. I think the black boots are enough. So, yeah, I think that looks good. I'm going to just change the, the shoes because I think that will make a difference. I'll put the, the trainers. So, same blouse, same belt, same skirt, same bag, different shoes. Completely changes the vibe, doesn't it? As soon as you do that, um, I'll just grab the sweater. This is such a fine sweater, you could actually wear it as a scarf to just keep your neck warm, but not spoil the look of the blouse. She's on one today. dogs going yeah so I'm going to give her a pig's ear that's not you I've got to give her a pig's ear in the garden that dog honestly What's she like? So, yeah, you can kind of get the gist, can't you? I mean, I think it looks really lovely. Now, um, I've lost track. I've not done this before, so I'm going to take that out from the French tuck. Little, I've, I don't really normally get on with the French tuck, but I did see a little video, and what the lady suggested there was, she said, pull your body up high, so when you tuck it in, the blouse will um, kind of, you know, you'll have some space at the front, which I think works quite well because I've got a, a long body. So then this is wearing the jumper over the shirt. And just having that little pink piece of pink there peeping out looks quite good. You could turn these back if you wanted to, to carry on the, the pink coming through and you know obviously I'm lucky enough to have this silk and cashmere that was gifted to me but um, as I say you could easily do this with a polyester shirt and um, an acrylic jumper whatever your budget is it doesn't mean you know some people have said oh you show a lot of expensive clothes well I'm just showing you what you can do. I'm I'm not suggesting you go out and buy everything you show you. I show you. I don't I don't buy everything I show you. Um so that's it. I prefer I prefer it tucked in to be honest, because it's not quite long enough to do the layering thing. But um let's go with this one. Looks nice, doesn't it? 
yeah I'm happy with that and uh, I'm just going to grab another necklace I think jewellery makes the biggest difference. Jewellery in your hair and shoes probably make the biggest difference to any outfit. So, um, yeah, that's all three tops with this one bottom. Um, yeah, so I will now change my bottom. I wish I could change my bottom. I'm not going to change my bottom. I'm going to change my um, skirt for some trousers. I have changed my um, skirt. I've swapped it out for my jeans. And um, these, I think, are George or two. Um, they're very inexpensive. They've got a nice stretch to them. And they have... Um, got the flared hem so yeah just because it's silk doesn't mean you can't wear it every day i've put my hair up but it's uh, fighting with the clips so i'll probably fall down in a second so it's the next outfit i think it looks lovely for a day sightseeing or a day to evening look just changing out the bag will make a difference. I call this my Jane Fonda bag because she had one similar on uh, the programme she was on. So, you know, the smallest things can make the biggest difference is all I would say. So, um, yeah, that's another look. My hair look is all falling down. I'll try and sort that out. So this time I have just popped this um, t-shirt on underneath the shirt and that gives you a different look again. Um, let me change my shoes. These are a gunmetal uh, court shoe. They're like a neutral really, they're just a woven leather, I've had them for donkey's years. But as soon as you put a little heel on, it changes, it changes the look completely, in my experience. It's accessories that really make or break an outfit, I think. Um, hair, shoes, bag. And, you know, you could wear the same jewellery with everything. You don't need to change it around. But I think pearls immediately lift an outfit and they lift your face too. So... That's another look right there. Um, I'm losing count, definitely. So, um, yeah, let's see what else I've got. So I have put the jumper on um, and I've changed my chain and I've put the scarf around my neck. I've got the black bag and I have tucked the jeans into my boots. And then you get a different look altogether. If you're not comfortable tying a scarf around your neck, and there's loads of YouTube videos on how to do it, but equally, if you wanted to kind of get that look, yeah, you can uh, tie the scarf to your bag. And you can often pick up scarves in charity shops, so, you know, don't be afraid of scarves at all. They can be a really useful accessory. So I'm just gonna say that's another look for you because I absolutely have no idea where I am with everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is mad, isn't it? But uh, it's, it's very, you know, it's, it's quite fun. Quite fun. She says, I'm boiling to death now because I'm wearing cashmere and it's quite warm outside. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm aware of this going on. So maybe if I put the T-shirt out, you just have to experiment. Just look in the mirror 
and experiment. And if you are going to only take a few pieces, you do need to know that they all work together because otherwise you're gonna really come unstuck. So if I take that off and put this other one on, it will just change the look again. I think that looks more daytime. Not sure about the boots, but it gives you an idea. If you've got slimmer hips, it probably, because I'm a bit, I'm going a bit like that, but I haven't even looked in the mirror for this one. So I've just turned the cuffs back um, on the shirt because I think it gives you a nice break of flesh around your sort of central area. So it, it breaks up the block of pink. And um, I've just put on the heels with the um, jeans because it immediately, jean, um, heels take you to more of an evening look, don't they? Inevitably. So um, I don't wear heels very often now. And what I love about this bag too is that when I did the, do this on holiday is that um, the handle, the, the um, handle undoes and you can just have it as a little clutch. where I am so I'm just going with it and uh, hope it works and I will number them when I when I edit the video and put it up on screen now I've put on the um, black coated straight leg jeans that I have I put the black scarf over the um, silk shirt I've got these nice as soon as you put a long earring in, in I think that takes it to a dressier level and I've got the cork shoes on and uh, I think that looks good enough certainly to go to um, a restaurant for dinner or drinks or whatever I think that's a perfectly nice outfit take the scarf off it works just as well and if you want to make it a bit more summery away from the black you can just use this little bag here and then you get the, the look so now I've just put on the little very lightweight cashmere knit um, without anything underneath it, as you can see, but I've got a solid t-shirt bra on and um, I, that's perfectly acceptable. I mean, I would wear a vest up under it, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, you know, for the purposes of this challenge, I couldn't do that. So I put on the, the wide Gabor trainers, which um, are still available in John Lewis. They're a Gabor wide fit trainer. And uh, yeah, I think that looks, a-okay personally look different again with the bag take my hair down looks more relaxed and casual doesn't it but still very smart i think very elegant and a bag like this is great because it, it holds everything you can get your phone oh this has actually got um a long strap too i've never used it but um you know, there's loads out there and there's loads of shops that are copying the high-end stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's another look. No idea where I am, as you know, but, um, yeah, that's all good. I've changed my jewellery again. I've put my hoops back in and my gold chain. And if... I couldn't just choose one, but if I had to choose two definite earrings that I would take, it would be my gold hoops and the pearls and gold chain and the pearls, if I could only take those. But I mean, they take up no room, do they? So, and I have put the bag under the shirt to kind of not break up the line of the shirt. And also it kind of makes it look more like a an over shirt than, than just the shirt. Now, do you know what just occurred to me? 
goodness knows why I'm harping back to this. But I remember when I was a young mum and uh, I'd grown my hair a little bit because I always used to have quite a short bob when I was younger. And um, it had just about got long enough to tie back. And I remember I tied it back and I put a scarf in it. Do you remember back in the day when you used to sort of put a scarf in and, and the tails of the scarf, what you still do to be fair. And um, I went to church and uh, I, I had done this scarf thing and I was so self-conscious of doing something that I had never done before. I'd never tied my hair back before among, as a grown up and I had never put a scarf in my hair or anything like that. And I remember being really like nervous of doing that. And everyone, you know, no, either people said nothing or they just, oh, I like your hair. And what I'm saying is sometimes if we just go outside of our comfort zone, um, nobody else notices because nobody else really cares. Everyone's worrying about themselves. They're not really worrying about you. So experiment and see how you get on. You know, life's for living, not for worrying about other people. So, um, yeah, another look. Look at it. It's hardly revolutionary, is it? But uh, I'll put the black boots on with this now and make it kind of darker. So I've put the black boots on now and I have put the crossbody on here, but I wouldn't actually wear it like this. It feels too bulky, but it kind of is a handy if you, you're in an airport or something and you need to have your hands free. So, I mean, you can always have that strap on there, you know, and just have it hanging down like that, which is what I do with my coach bag actually. And then when I'm in the shops, I do wear a crossbody. So, um, yeah, that's, another look with the with the black boots and do you know what ladies I'm gonna leave it there I don't think it's about me showing you one more thing one other thing you know you get the idea you're not daft and um, I think it's been a very interesting exercise for me anyway and I hope you've enjoyed it um, I'll see you really soon thanks for watching